Welcome to Primary Science with Miss Devita. In this video, we're going to talk about seeds germination, and we're going to learn how seeds need water and warm for germination, but not light. Let's start by observing a picture of germinating seeds. You see there, the seed is germinating, and there are some facts that Many plants reproduce from seeds. A bean is the seed of a bean plant. And now we're going to talk about what is germination. Observe the video. Something grows downwards and upwards. So germination is the development of seeds into young plants. Let's have a look at this. Uh, illustration whoops yeah the seeds grow into young plants so this kind of development is what we call it germination and now we're going to talk about the stages of germination okay let's see the next picture On the first stage, the seeds absorb water and swells. On the second stage, the first root grows downwards. On the third stage, the stem grows upward. And more roots grow on stage number four. And next, the stem and leaves, which makes up the shoots, start to grow above the ground. And at the end, the leaves of the seedlings are able to make food. And now let's talk about the parts of a seed. At least there are three main parts. The first one, the seed coat. It is the part that covers and protects the seeds. And then the next one, a germinating seed gets energy from the stored food inside the seeds. And when the new leaves develop, the seedlings is able to make its own food. And there's also embryo. It is a baby plant, which will develop into a young plant if conditions are right. And now we're going to talk about these right conditions. Okay. Seeds germinate if only the conditions are right. And these conditions that we're going to talk about are the water, air, warmth and light we're going to talk about these uh, conditions one by one the first one do seeds need water to germinate yeah to answer this question we can do a three bins experiment you'll see in the picture there are three bins the first bins is uh, the seeds in the air this one yeah it has no access to the water source and then the second one the seeds that is parts partially in the water so it has the access to the water but not that much and the third one it is the seeds inside the water yeah so after two or three days it will show that it's only the seeds partially in the water that will germinate while the seeds in the air it does not it does not uh, germinate as well as the seeds inside the water. It does not germinate. And here's also another experiment to answer the question, do seeds need water to germinate? Look, uh, here we have beaker A and beaker B. On beaker A, uh, the seeds were placed on dry cotton wool. There's no water. And on beaker B, the seeds were placed on the wet cotton wool, so it has water. After two or three days, the seeds that germinated is only the seeds on beaker B. Why? Because seeds need water to soften and break the seed coats. Then seedlings or a young plant can go through the broken seed coats. The next condition that we're going to talk about is the air. Do seeds need air to germinate? Let's have a look at this picture. 
beaker A and beaker B. Okay, on beaker A, boil the water to remove the dissolved oxygen content. And then cool the water and add few gram seeds into the beaker. And then add little oil, which will prevent the entry of atmospheric oxygen and allow the seeds to germinate for several days. But in beaker B, it just put in the uh, in the normal situation like this. And then after two or three days, you might notice that the seeds in beaker A do not germinate. But the seeds in beaker B, they do germinate. Why? Because in beaker B, the seeds get the air. They get the oxygen. So now we can say that to germinate, the seeds need the air. And the next condition is, is about the warmth or the right temperature. Okay, do seeds need warmth to germinate? In beaker A, some ice cubes are added along with few gram seeds and it is kept it is kept in a box. And then on beaker B, few gram seeds are put on wet cotton wool at room temperature. So in beaker A, the temperature will be cold but in beaker B, the temperature will be like the room temperature. And then after two or three days, the seeds that germinates are only the seeds on beaker B. This is to answer that the seeds need the warmth to germinate. If it's not warm enough, uh, some seeds may fail to germinate. And the last conditions that we're going to talk about is the light. Do seeds need light to germinate? Let's look at this picture. Uh, this is the result of seeds that grown in the light and grown in the darkness. Do you notice that both of the seeds grow? Yeah, and then this one also another um, picture of the seeds germination. The first one on the without light situation and the other one with the light you might also notice that both of this that with with or without the light the seeds will germinate so we can say that uh, seeds do not need lights to germinate yeah most seeds do not need light to germinate a germinating seed does not need light to make food because it uses the stored food inside the seeds. And when the stored food is used up and the leaves develop, the seedlings can make the food for themselves. And here's an interesting fact about magnolia seeds from Japan that it can germinate after more than 2000 years. Yeah, it is the fact that some seeds can stay inactive for hundreds of years before the conditions becomes right for them to germinate. Now, let's sum up. Look at this diagram. The first one, germination, it is the development of seeds into young plants. And the seeds do not need light to germinate. But the seeds need some conditions the right conditions for it to germinate. They need the water, they need the air, they need the warmth, but they do not need the light to germinate. That's all. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on my next one.